let's say we have the following situation. We've got a table to the right that shows the results of a survey in which 2,796 adults from County A, 1,360 adults from County B, and 1,639 adults from County C were asked if dogs were a problem with the sanity of mailmen. Oh, no. First question is construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of adults from County A. Second part is construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of adults from County B. Oh, it should be County B. I need to switch that. Hang on. It is beautiful when you can go into a question and change it right in the middle of a recording. So I fix that. Construct a 95% confidence interval. All right, so for A and for B, we're going to be using down there in the middle confidence interval for a proportion. All right, so what do we have? We've got uh, 2,796 from County A. And I know that there's 62%. We're going to nail this. We're going to nail it. Then we're going to do a 95% confidence interval for County B. Where in County B, I've got 1,360. And I got 89% who's saying that the dogs have a problem with the sanity of the mailman. All right, let's do this one. So down at the bottom, I'm going to click CI for proportion. All right, so how many people did I have in County A? Let me input this. It was uh, 2,796, and there were 62%. So I don't, have to, I don't have to enter a fraction. I'm just going to enter 62%, which is 0. 0.62. Bazinga. They want a 95% confidence interval. 0 0.602 to 0 0.638. If I round that to two decimal places, 0 0.60 to 0 0.64. I don't know how many decimal places they want it to. But there is my answer. If they want it to one decimal place, it would be 0 0.6 to 0 0.6. They wouldn't want it to one. It would need to be at least two or three or four. If it were to four, you would say 95% is 0 0.6020 to 0.63. Eight, zero. Now let's do the second part. It's a 95% confidence interval for County B. In County B, I had 1,360 adults, 89%. So let's work that one. Okay, so let's put in the number in County B. It was 1,360. The sample proportion was 89%, so I'm going to put in 0 0.89, hit the enter button. The 95% confidence interval would be 0 0.8734 to 0 0.9066. We nailed it, nailed it to the wall. Just remember to round it, all right? So we've got the 99, the 95, the 90. And just like the others, if I wanted a different confidence level other than 99, 95, or 90, I could enter it right there. But we nailed that one. Oh, oh, okay. Here's another question. Let's take a look at this. The table shows the results of a survey in which separate samples are 400 of 400 adults each, east from the east, south, west, and north were asked if barking dogs were a serious problem in their part of the city. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of adults from the South who say barking dogs are a serious problem. We're going to be using the CI for proportion again. Let's just open it up. All right. Let's see. So, uh, let me see. Oh, I've got to remember what it was. So 400 adults. So I'll put in 400. And it was 62% uh, in County A, 0.62. And they want the 95% confidence interval. 
bazinga right there it is i'll make it a silly color for you but 0 0.5724 to 0.6676 round it like you need to round it round it right i have done everything i can do for you you ought to wipe this stuff out remember though when you enter something, hit the enter button. In other words, if I put in, if I change this to 500, it's not going to change until I hit the enter button. If I change the sample proportion to 0 0.39, you got to hit the enter button. This, is, this calculator will nail all of these, but you've got to remember hit the enter button and it's only as good as the folks putting it in i cannot guarantee the results as much as i'd love to take care and hopefully i've helped you a lot if i have uh i put a lot of time into this so eh, you know i'm kind of like a free tutor so i would appreciate it if you would help me out there because generally i'm not a free tutor i can help folks out around here they pay me a good amount of money, but I'm helping you out because I like you. Good luck, and I'll see you next week.